I transformed this mangrove swamp so I can build a beautiful fantasy village here. There are many different kinds of houses but also a lot of empty space I'd like to fill with more lovely builds today. And the best way to prepare for a long day of manual labor is to take a refreshing walk. What a beautiful day it is to build a village. It's been a while since I worked on this village so to warm up let's start on a little house. This is a small but cozy farmer's cottage. I made a cute wheat field outside and a scarecrow to keep the zombies away. This is very cute but it's still looking a bit bare so let's add some greenery to it. Yeah, this is looking much better now. Maybe even some more leaves around the sides here so the villagers don't fall out. But you know how villagers are, they always find a way to fall down. You know I also love my flowers so let's add some of those too. Now walking up to this house is gonna be extra magical. This is looking super cozy and I love that I can see the dragon egg all the way from over here. Look at it. It's magical. I think it is important to track your progress of such a big project which is why I made a little to-do list over here and every single time I finish building a house I mark it on this board with my glowing ink. Ah there's the farmer and done. Still lots to go. But instead of starting the next houses I got an idea. What if I make building these houses really simple by getting all the wood from a machine instead of manually chopping them down and hurting my wrists? Ow! Mangrove trees are beautiful but getting the wood is so much harder compared to spruce. So I need to build an automatic mangrove wood farm so I can build the second part of the mangrove village. I'm usually too lazy to go mining. It's definitely not because I'm scared of dark caves and creepers. No, 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 no. I'm just lazy. But that is why I already made a witch farm a while back which gives me redstone. Yeah, it's ugly, I know. So all I need to do is stand around while the farm does its thing. It's a really lovely view from up here too. Look, it's a sunflower field. So pretty. But slime could be harder to get unless I outsmart them. And that's exactly what I did. This time I had science on my side and the easiest slime farm designed by my friend Cayman. The slimes will spawn on these four big platforms and fall down into the water stream until they perish on the magma blocks. But just like the witch farm, I will stand around and wait for enough slime to be there. But they only spawn at night, so we're gonna be here a while. Welcome to my new cozy sky house. Yeah, it's super ugly. But look at all the slime I got after just one night. Now I can craft all the slime blocks I need for the mangrove farm. And we can even see the dragon egg from the slime farm. Look, it's over there. I don't want to build the mangrove farm near my base because it doesn't look very pretty. I think if I build it across the ocean near this village, it'll be fine. Sorry villagers, I'm ruining your view so I can create a beautiful mangrove village in my base. But don't worry, you're all invited to live in the better and improved village, I promise you that. Sorry guys. Alright, this looks like a really good spot, let's build this farm. And it is done. This giant complex machine will hopefully put an end to all my mangrove needs. Let's light up around the area really quick because I already had a creeper accident here. But I quickly need to go down to my skeleton farm and grab a ton of bone meal because when I place it in these chests the saplings will grow instantly and the farm will work. Hopefully. To start the farm I just need to activate this lever and then the TNT will explode from above. Oh it's so loud. Now I need to stand in this room here and aim the saplings at this tiny spot and if I do it right it will place down and grow a tree. I did it, I grew a tree, look I grew a mangrove tree! So I stood there planting saplings for a while and grew a lot of mangrove trees that were exploded by the TNT raining from above. I quickly realized the sapling placement hurts my wrist just as much as chopping down trees. Well you can't always win in life, right? But what I call a big win is this beautiful amount of mangrove wood. I think I'm finally ready to build the village. I think I'd like to work on this area up here first. This is where I want to put a librarian's house. Let's start by marking down the corners of the house using barrels. And then I'd like to add some packed mud in between. And then some magenta glass in the windows. Yes, that's a nice start I would say. For the second floor I'd like to use a more magical color so I'm gonna use some magenta terracotta. And I also made a balcony at the front of the house. I think it's a nice touch. Now this is still looking a bit weird so let's add a roof on top. I'm just gonna place some bookshelves in the front to make it stand out as a librarian's house. Then let's do the same on the inside with more bookshelves and lecterns. And more books upstairs and a bed as well. This is a cute and cozy interior for someone who loves to read. And a great view from the balcony too. And this is the librarian's house done. I hope you like it. Now this area here will be the next in line to become beautiful. I 
And here we have the shepherd and the leather worker. I added some wool storage here in the front and a rag where the shepherd cleans the wool he just sheared off his sheep. I'm not expert in shearing sheep, but I think that's how it works. I'd also love to bring some sheep over to live here. I have three over here on my farm. Maybe let's get one more so I can have two here and two in the shepherd's home. I would dye them pink, but I don't think it fits the color theme of this place. Instead, I'm gonna give them some cutesy names. How about Lila and Rose? I hope they are happy here. And the leather worker house has some armor displayed in the front. I made this trapdoor wall and I love how you can look outside through the small openings. It's warm in the swamp so the villagers won't be cold. So far I've added 10 houses to this village but not a single villager lives here. That's because I haven't invited them yet. My villagers live here in this barn and it's super crowded but they are safe here. And safety is my main concern in this mangrove village. I've seen so many zombies wandering from the creepy swamp and I don't want my villagers to get hurt. So I added some more bushes and fences around the sides of the village and lit it up with lanterns. And I think maybe some tall flowers here and there could look really nice. Okay, now I have a huge safety wall all around the place. But the inside of the village needs to be lit up as well. So I'm gonna try to come up with a cute lantern design. Okay, how about mud wall, mangrove fence, anvil, then some slab and trapdoor magic. And then lastly, the lanterns. Yeah, I think that's a magical looking lamppost. And now the lanterns are everywhere and I'm gonna add more once all the houses are finished. Now that it's safe, I can invite the first villager. Hello there, would you like to be the first citizen of the unnamed village down there? No, that's the wrong job! I don't know what I just did, but I don't like it. Come back, where are you going? I need this guy to be my first librarian, because I realized I cannot build another house until I've sorted out my pickaxe. And the only way this one can be repaired is to add mending to its enchants. So I politely talked business with the villager until they sold me the magical mending books. And now I just need to add it to my pickaxe. So useful that these anvils are on the lampposts everywhere. Okay, quick trip to the skeleton farm to repair the pig and then we can get back to building the village. Only this part of the village is still empty, so let's see if we can fit four more houses in there. The most unique house is the fisherman's cabin. It stands on stilts in the water and it has a dock for relaxing early morning fishing. And I can't wait to go on lovely walks to this pond and watch the tropical fish swim by. I also added reeds around the pond using brown candles on tall grass. And of course I also made a toolsmith house, mason and weaponsmith. They all have improved workstations in front of their houses. I can't wait to trade with all of these three villager professions for better tools and building blocks. Watching this once empty place grow into a beautiful village is such a magical thing to see. And it is even more satisfying to check off all the tasks on the board. Oh, but there's one left. One last final task before the villagers can finally move into their new homes. The finishing touches in form of decorations and plants. I need to return what I once took from this place mangrove trees. But these saplings I am planting aren't ordinary saplings. They will grow into the most beautiful mangrove trees the villagers have ever seen. By this time tomorrow they will have grown to their full size. I have used a special fertilizer because I know my gardening well. <laughs> I am so excited to see the new trees. They must have grown by now. What is this? The mangrove swamp? It grew back? It covered everything. Was it too much fertilizer? All this work for nothing. This is a nightmare. I just had the worst nightmare. Good that it was just a dream. I can still see the village from my window. And all the trees have grown. Look at that. We have cute little mangrove trees here and there. Now the origins of this place won't ever be forgotten with all those mangrove trees around. It is time to introduce the villagers to their new home. So I went to the old village and handed out some invitations I had written by hand. I hope some of them will show up. I waited and waited and almost lost hope that no one would care and they'd rather live in a barn or a dangerous village next to lava and caves. The wandering trader! Hi, welcome to the village! No one has moved in yet except the librarian, but maybe you could convince them? I wanted to add some market stalls anyway, so I can make one for you too, no problem! He's so nice! 
I just quickly need to grab some wood, probably spruce, and then some wool in the Wandering Trader colors, so let's get red and yellow. I think this is the spot where the Wandering Trader wants me to build his market stall. And this is the finished market stall with Wandering Trader themed banners and all the magical goods the trader finds on his travels around the world. I do wonder why anyone would need a live puffer fish though. There's also a hitching post for the llamas and a wagon full of hay behind the market. Looks like the trader has already left and hopefully he will invite some villagers over. Which leaves me with a bit of time to decorate the place. I have seen some bees in the mangrove forest so it would be fitting to add an apiary here. Surely one of the villagers will tend to it, I hope. Come on, my bees, to your new home. This is where you're going to live. Isn't this lovely? I've also tried to make a natural well here in the front of the village. I think it kind of suits the style of this village. Now, I do hope the wandering trader had some time to convince the villagers to move in. Let's check the barn first. To the new village. Look, the wandering trader's here too. Come on, come on. Sadly, it looks like only those three villagers wanted to actually live here. Looks like this guy would rather live in a sheep pen than in the new village. But it is fine, those three can start a new family. Ooh, the wandering trader's watching creepily in the background. A bit of time has passed and I'm hoping a new villager generation has joined the village. I did hear some humming noises from the houses. Hello, is anybody home? Oh look, wow, they look so weird, what is going on? Is this the mangrove village style? Oh, and the shepherd's family, hello. Oh, this is so nice. The village has really come to life, which is all I could have ever hoped for. I'm looking forward to all the adventures I'm going to have in this village with my new friends. I hope you liked the builds and enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Bye.